used to call me on my cell phone Late night when you need my love Call me on my cell phone For so long so i decided to make this wig out of the things that i had at home already so i'm taking this deluxe weaving cap um i like this one because it has straps and i am able to make it secure to my head so you know it don't fall off or nothing like that girl i have this 27 piece hair that i got from the beauty supply and then i have this 12 inch bundle that i had laying around to make my bang I'm using this as a half of a closure. It would have a hole in the middle of it, so I cut it in half. I'm like, we could still use this. So I'm using that, and it's old. I'm taking the thread out of it now. And I am taking this mannequin head, and I'm just placing the wig cap on it, and I'm making sure that it is lined up with the back, and just so like the shape of the wig is not weird when I make it. I am starting with pinning the closure down to where I want it. I kind of want like a really deep side bang. So I'm um, pinning it over there and I'm placing it in place with these uh, wig pins. Just so I seven piece hair, it comes in three lengths, short, medium, long. And I am just gonna start with the shortest since it's in the back and it comes in these strips. And I'm just gonna start with my glue gun. I'm making this wig with a glue gun just because it last longer than regular hair glue because it's not soluble and yeah it just sticks longer and hair glue is just kind of messy so yeah i love the glue gun especially when it comes to cheaper hair but you know like, of course it was bundles i like probably sew it but glue gun works good for this And you want to be sure that you do not glue the straps because if you glue the straps like it's really like no purpose for them um, you want to be able to make the wig tighter so make sure you do not place glue all the way to the edge of this cap because you will glue the strap in place and your wig might slide off <laughs> no I'm just kidding but yeah don't do not glue the straps and I am now taking the second layer of hair and I'm just starting. Um, I really could have put like a layer or two less of this hair on because I did have to do some shaving of it on at the end. But um, just make sure you're um, spacing it out well enough. And now the final piece. Um, I covered the most area with the longer pieces just because I wanted it to be really long at the top. So. Um, yeah that's why i started earlier with those pieces especially to um get the little piece i have by my ear which you'll see at the end of the video um i went up really far with that and i only left about a space for one track um on the other side of the closure like that's how far i went up pretty far and now i'm starting with the 12 inch hair you can see the area I'm talking about, the space for one track. Um, you want to put one track right there going towards the back just to make it blend and easier with the closure and the 27 piece hair. Just kind of like a layer of hair long enough that you can manipulate to blend um, with both um, textures of hair. And so now I am starting gluing towards the front now that I have that layer glued down. And I am leaving about an inch of free space. You'll see why I did that um, in a few moments. But you do not want to glue the tracks facing the front all the way towards the closure. You want to leave about, you know, an inch, half an inch. So um, you can close up the wig. And I'm literally just filling this all in, stopping at the same spot, leaving that space. Um, so I can make the wig blend better, well the hair blend better when I um, finish it. All night I've been waiting up, waiting up, waiting. girl stop acting like this something new. Okay so now I've gotten to the point where you know 
I was done gluing towards the front, but I decided to add a track or two at the back to close it up even more. Um, and after you do that, you're gonna get, you know, this weird shaped um, area, I guess. Um, and I just finished gluing towards the back and I'm just gonna close that up. I am just gluing small pieces back um, towards the side of the wig this time. Not towards the front of the back, but towards the side closing up that space and the pieces are going to get really small at first but um as you close it up you know the pieces will get longer as you can see and now i have one more track so i'm just going it down and now i only have the area that i um um spaced out when i was gluing towards the front the little um centimeter half inch area and now you're going to see I'm gluing the tracks the opposite way to close the wig in. And this just makes for a better blending. So like me laying the track that way makes the closure look better. Um, because it has something to blend onto rather than having all the tracks going the opposite way of it. And then not being able to um, make it lay down or blend right. And that is me closing up the wig. And you just want to get all that residue of the glue gun out of the wig and you just want to comb it down and get your part going and see how you want it cut. So I'm just now taking my scissors and I'm cutting out the part underneath the lace closure just so um, it looks more natural on the head and I can actually see um, the part and what's going on and I'm putting it back on the mannequin head. I really don't know how to explain all the cutting and clipping I did. I did so much so I mean you guys can just watch and like get a feel for what I did but I really don't know like how to explain. I did some cutting, I did some trimming, I went in with my um, clippers and my um, trimmers and lined it up. I did a lot of stuff to this wig so you know just sit back and watch the video. Now the reason I'm using these clippers is because like I said before I think I laid a little bit too much of the second layer on there so um, I'll just use that to blend out the layers so it wasn't you know the lines of demarcation weren't so noticeable. And I'm just bumping it to keep track of my cutting to make sure I'm on the right track. Um, you know, with shorter wigs, you want to make sure the cut is right. So bumping it helps you figure out how everything is going to lay in the end rather than just cutting it and trying to flat iron it all at the end. Make sure that line and crisp, girl. You always want to make sure you line up the back because then, you know, if you line it up, it just looks more customized to your head and it looks more realistic. <laughs> I'm just taking my thinners, adding a little layers, and I'm gonna flat iron it. And you know, after a few minutes of that, I cut it a little shorter than how it was right here, but that's basically everything I did, and my wig was complete. Oh my gosh, I fell in love with it, you guys. I got so many compliments, I was so happy it came out well. This is my first time, you know, doing a wig like this, but. I like it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you learned something. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys all for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.
Cell phone.